In this video, we are going to go over how to find the opposites of integers. This is one of those foundational ideas that is big when learning about integers. So remember, integers are all whole numbers and their opposites. So we're going to look at each of these numbers and find their opposites. And I'm going to do that with a number line for each of these problems, just so we have an idea of what's going on. I would advise that as you're doing these problems, start out with at least a number line visualization in your head, if not taking the time to write it out. And eventually, once you have that foundation, you will be able to do this like that with no problem. So number four, we want the opposite of four. Well, the opposite of four on a number line would be a number that is also four away from zero, but in the other direction. So one, two, three, four, that would be positive four. So that's where we currently are. We need a number in the opposite direction that is also four away. So that would be negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So that negative four indicates that we're in the opposite direction of positive four or negative four. So the opposite of four, negative four, and that would be our answer. Now, do you have to show this workout with a number line? No, but it's a good idea to have that concept down, and it will help in later ideas with adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, doing all kinds of things with negative numbers, and I am pumped for that. You know that. Negative seven. What's the opposite of negative seven? Well, I'll do an abbreviated number line here. What I mean by that is I won't mark everything down. Negative seven is seven spots to the left that way of zero. So that would be over here at negative seven. Well, we'll put a point there. That means that the opposite of negative seven would be a number that is seven away from zero in the rightward direction, the other direction, which would be over here to the right. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Okay, then we see that behind me is the number zero. Well, what's the opposite of zero? Well, what number is zero away from zero? Um, uh, zero. Zero? So zero is its own opposite. It's the only number that acts like that. And so the answer to this is zero. And you can see that on either of the number lines we've drawn here. Zero in the opposite direction, well, it hasn't taken on a direction of left or right. So it stays where it is. And that's it for finding opposites.